Solder Repair on Small Brass Parts, William Hovey Smith, 2014. I'm the author of Extreme Muzzleloading, and sometimes we have to do repairs on our guns. This is Hovey Smith with Hovey's Outdoor Adventures. And today, with thunderstorms and hassling hound dogs, we are going to do some of the preliminary work on the brass for the Brunswick rifle. Now, the first piece is this trigger plate right here. And I'll show you a close-up so you can see the problem. Uh, the trigger plate is broken. There's a bad fracture right here through this half of it. And I'm going to solder it up with a little silver solder and then redress and true up the entire plate itself. So when I inlet, I have a simpler job of it. So that's going to be one of the tasks we're going to do. You can see the break in the trigger plate behind the trigger. Well, okay, let's get about our serious work here. Light up our torch. Okay. We have fire. Now with soldering, you do have to get the work a little bit warm so that the solder will actually stick and flow instead of just stopping and freezing the instant it hits. So we're going to warm this brass. You'll notice I have a steel plate here and then I have a piece of ceramic under that. And that's very purposeful. Okay. And we're working with just the tip of the flame where you have the oxidizing portion of the flame and the reducing portion of the frame. Because we don't want to oxidize the brass, we just want to heat it. Okay, that may be about right. Okay. Okay. Well, see how we did. Okay, we certainly got it hot enough. Okay. more than enough of a glob of solder on there. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got it. My trigger plate is now about cool enough to handle here. Here I am filing the excess solder off of the trigger plate itself and also dressing up the trigger. You'll notice that I turn the work and I'm working several sides and now I have the flat of the file and I'm rubbing the trigger plate along it to true up the edges. So this I continue for a while and this process takes about all oh, 20 minutes I'd say before I finally inspected it and decided that I'm really done with it. For a review, here's what the trigger plate looked like when I started, and here's what it looks like now that it's repaired. 
And here are the components that are actually used to do it. Now, I am the author of a series of prize-winning books, including Extreme Muzzleloading, Backyard Deer Hunting, Crossbow Hunting, and Practical Bow Fishing. And all of these are available as softcover and e-books. Now, I will have a forthcoming title on building or restoring your own muzzleloader where some of these sequences will actually be featured. Now, concerning silver soldering itself, now watch your immediate work area and where that flame goes. Many shop fires have been started by soldering torches. Got that one? Okay, be careful. Now, although commonly called silver soldering, now this was actually a tin anemone solder mix. For info on my books, blogs, and videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.